Is Sadiq Khan getting on your nerves? Well, I've got some bad news. The YouGov article says that Sadiq Khan holds a 25-point lead over Susan Hall for mayor. This is his closest competitor, and it turns out that the lead isn't very close at all, because this is the voting table here. And you can see, just like the demographics of the UK, Sadiq is flying ahead. It's almost as if London lives in a bubble, and it doesn't realise that it's become a major part of the UK. UK's downfall. It says that YouGov's latest London mayoral voting intention survey finds Labour's Sadiq Khan is 25 points ahead of Conservative challenger Susan Hall. And you've got the Reform Party at 4%, albeit when you're a third party you never really poll well. But Sadiq Khan got into power in 2016, which is almost a decade, and at this rate he could be in for a decade longer. However, it seems that Sadiq has friends and enemies on both sides sides. Because it says that Khan gets the most votes amongst white Londoners by 45%, and he gets the ethnic minority London vote by 57%. And those secondary numbers are when compared against Susan Hall. So 45% of white people and 57% of minorities support Sadiq Khan. It's essentially 50-50 on both sides, which genuinely coming into this video is not something that I expected to happen. I thought just like the Democrats in America that Sadiq would have about 80% of the minority vote. But that's not the case because Sadiq seems to be struggling at 57% when it comes to Sudanese Steve. But what do you think? Is it because people love Sadiq Khan? Or alternatively, do people just not know who Susan Hall is? They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, and in this case, I think it could be true. So thank you for subscribing, thank you to the channel members, and thank you for checking out this video on screen. This country has gone crazy.